face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what is up, guys? And of course, welcome to another episode of Who Was Really Better. Now, this week we're actually going to tackle Rapid Ash versus Barora. I do want to respond on a few comments I got that Flaria might have been a better op opponent versus Rapid Ash. It isn't. Uh, well, I would say that both represent a very strong physical presence, I would say that Paror and Rapidash fills the same role of being right now in the tiers and also in leagues of a possible Scarfer and also your speedy offensive fire type. Now, one of course represents the physical part, the other one represents the special part, and we can of course go over the Oregon theme to see which one of these two really are better. Now, Rapidash has actually been around since Generation 1 and actually been fairly decent but never really that good always had had another fire type that has been stronger now rapidash on its own right has still that upgrade after upgrade for generations to generations and when power was introduced it was introduced in the meta where it necessarily wasn't needed but it still has made a pretty big actually mark on the meta definitely lower tiers where it starts to shine and actually fill a similar role to rapidash so with that said we're going to actually talk about rapidash first it was of course introduced First, and then we'll talk about Power Aura, and then of course go into the verdict of which one of these two that really are better. That said, let's start with Rapid Ash. So a quick rundown about the Fire type itself. Soul Fire type is a really good defensive type being. The unfortunate part is the self rock weakness, but quite frankly as you guys can see, Bug, Fairy, Fire, Grass, Ice, and Steel are your resistances, while of course Weed, Ground, Rock, and Water. Overall though, really good, definitely nothing to it. And when it comes to rapid ash stats, it's very clear what this thing does. It really isn't a bulk gas Pokemon with 65 in its HP. Its defenses are kind of average to a bit of the below side, actually. It's 70 on defense and 80 on special defense. However, we have also attack and speed. And here is, of course, where it starts to shine. 100 in base attack is not necessarily all that high. However, for a fire type of being offensive, it's a scary thing to, of course, be fending off because proper stabbing really just kind of sting no matter how much of attack you got. So 100 is really good and 105 in its speed. Yeah, this thing is supposed to just hit hard when it comes in. Its main way of attacking is unfortunate with recall involved, so it's kind of it's holding this Pokemon back. However, it definitely will sting once it hits. And of course, this Pokemon can carry lines of Life Orb, Choice Band, Choice Golf, and can do the rules fairly all right. And when it comes to its abilities, I would say they're kind of up there. Runaway is something that seems to be coming in and out on this kind of videos. And I only say one thing, do not use them. There's no reason to. But we've got both Flame Body and Flash Fire. But no, who used Flame Body? You can get your opponent, of course, burned by 30% for a contact move. However, since you aren't necessarily a bulk in the first place, there really aren't necessarily a reason to use that. However, Flash Fire, mm-mm, there is where it's at. Really just, if you soak a fire move, making you're actually getting immunity to fire, but also, of course, boosting by 50% into the next fire hit. And that's always a good thing. That means that something is going to get hit hard. Uh, so overall, Rapidash clearly is a very, very good offensive Pokemon. I have to manage this special attack. While it doesn't have a lot of special attack, it is a usable special attack of 80. So it's a mixed attacker, but definitely focused more on the physical side. So it's whether or not its move pool is based on that physical part. And well, it is. Because Rapidus has an array of different moves that really are very useful towards this Pokemon in particular. First and foremost was Poison Jab, Mega Horn, Quick Attack, so also got a priority. Flame Charge make yourselves a bit more speedier. Wild Charge, good for the water, bulky water types. Agility, kind of overkill, but it does get it. Fire Blast, fair filler to get it with Bounce, which of course with Fly MC is kind of cool actually it definitely is a usable move with that said flare bitch which of course is your main stab in mind and actually it's a fairly decent one at that it is um quite frankly while the recall is up there it just hurts so much to hit something with a fire blast or a fire blitz so yeah i like it i think it's very soothing for rabbit Dash itself Solar Beam makes for fair sea filler and definitely goes more towards the rock types that potentially could wall you. In PU, we're looking at the likes of Regirock, which definitely are a clear threat. However, Rabidash has more ways to deal with Regirock than a Solar Beam. Overheat is also there to get with the likes of will wisp which is standard for fire type with a double kick, which is not necessarily the best move, but it does get it. Hypnosis, which at the same time here, yeah, it's necessarily not hitting that well. However, 
With C in mind, you are able to possibly sleep your opponent and get a speed raise by one. That's great. High horse power is high horse power is your main ground based move actually. So for a very long time it was drill run, but high horse power is clearly stronger. And uh, yeah, you use that. <laughs> Morning Sun. Uh, while this Pokemon doesn't have necessarily, as you guys can see, the best bulk, as I said already, it is something to be able to be utilized to get it with life or to be able to recover HP and keep on hitting. The same thing with, of course, if you're going for a Flare Blitz to be able to recover HP if the matchup does allow it. Low Kick is probably your main finest stab in mind, mainly for Red Rock, but also for other Pokemon, such as, of course, uh, what do you call it? The Steelix, which, while Flare Blitz hits that super effectively, to be able to not force yourself a recall is always a good thing, so having that as an option is very fair. Throw Chop, Dark Stab, really doesn't bring anything to Rapid Edge, but it does get it, and I just want to see kind of Rapid Edge chop something. Uh, bounce twice, that's my mistake, but with Low Kick twice, yet again, my mistake. The last moves here are kind of niche. Uh, Iron Tail is definitely up there as a possible filler move, but you really are no reason using that over high horsepower. Curse. A white Herb and Curse is a very good combination because, of course, it negates the negative speed Rabidash and boosts your attack and defense by one. It's great since, as stated already, 105 is kind of a decent speed tier to be able to boost yourself in attack since you don't have Sword Stance or anything like that. It's really, really are decent. Uh, and your kind of fills the same role here if you're going to have something like the Salak Berry or anything like that, you can be able to pull that off. Nature Gift is also one of those things that really stand up since, of course, with naturally, if you send a possible stab move or any type move which is very involved, and <clears throat> Rapid Dash does feel a very strong filler with that. However, um, really on reason for using that, but it's something at least it gets. If you want to ice stab for a certain matchup in the league, you're able to do just so. And the last move, Reflect. It isn't necessarily the best Pokemon to use it, but only the realization that it does get it make Rapid Dash very cool to, because it means that it has a niche role for different matchup and to be able to pull that off, well, it, it works to its favor. So overall, I would say the standard set with Rapid Dash is either with a Bug MC or with a Fire MC, uh, basically to hit something really hard, super effectively, uh, or carrying, of course, like a Life Orb. Now, you always want the filler of uh, Flare Blitz, Wild Charge, High Horsepower, and the last move can be whatever you like. Uh, I myself really like to carry Low Kick, but Morning Sun is also a fair option. Then, of course, Quick Attack, you want to capitalize on that with a possible choice band. So, overall, Rapid Dash is very, very clear. It's a very offensively capable Pokemon that has varieties to play some defensive roles if you want to do that. But overall, while it does do not necessarily that well in the tiers, it's not because the Pokemon itself is bad, it's just the other fire types, just similar things that push the boundaries. Um, Rapid Dash is always in that area, almost making it, but have yet to make a stand. And overall, I would say it's a stronger league Pokemon just because of the speed here and the filler music does get because it, the variety itself allows it to do a lot, a lot better than most Pokemon in different environments. So that's definitely something of a skill that Rabidash has. While it doesn't necessarily push the boundaries in its ears, it definitely makes it a more statuarized in the league concept. But with that said, we also have Pyroar to talk about, and Pyroar is a very, very interesting Pokemon because of the variety it brings to the table. Now, Pyro is a bit more on the niche side with, of course, another stab move involved in a normal. Normal Fire isn't necessarily a bad typing on itself. You basically remain the same type of resistances, but get an immunity and another weakness. So, immunity team Ghost and, of course, a new weakness in fighting. Overall, I don't believe it's too bad, though that said, now you have three priority moves to watch out for. And that can always be a letdown for a Pokemon such as this. But at the same time, Pyro is not as brittle as Rapid Dash. Just look at those HP stat of 86. That's kind of high. That's actually really high. On the physical side, it's 68. So now this is not going to be a physical attacker. 72 in defense and 66 in special defense. Yeah, I would say it's somewhere in between below average. But with that HP, it definitely is as stated, kind of bulkier than Rapid Dash could be, so that's a very strong thing. And then we come to the special attack, 109. That's a lot. That's even a lot for a normal type, and it's a fairly decent for a fire type. That this mean that this will sting no matter what it hits. And with the speed tier, actually one over Rapid Dash of 106, 
you can make sure that this initial speed here allow Pyro to be rougher to be dealing with because it means it will hit something harder and probably more reliably actually. And there really aren't that many things holding this Pokemon back outside of its actually type combination. And of course, with the Stealth Rocks, it definitely can be a Pokemon that's forced out, but does hit quite a lot. Uh, on that ability side, is a bit of a letdown as Moxie boosts your, of course, attack by 50% or by one stage, I would say, once you kill a Pokemon. With 68 HP, doesn't necessarily matter. It is unfortunate because I think it's an interesting aspect, it just doesn't bring anything to the table. Rivalry, yeah. I mean, it's unfortunately a bit of a letdown, as of course you boost your attack and special attack by 25% if you are of the same sex. Um, but yeah, that's a risk. If you have opposite sex, then you lose 25% of your attacking proudness, and that's not a good thing, since of course it doesn't necessarily hit that hard. So, usually it comes down to one item, and that is unnerved, one ability, that makes sure you can't use any berry. So, I would say that's the best of its abilities. Definitely works against the rest of Chester Snorlax, for example, but it is a bit of a niche environment to be with, but I definitely prefer something like Flash Fire and everything like that. That said, though, its stats speak for itself. It's a very, very good offensive Pokemon, and it does have a move pool to kind of back this up. So let's talk about that a little bit. So Paros Moopool is kind of shallow actually, I just filled out the moves with a few physical just to enforce that it just gets something like that, but quite frankly, Paros Moopool is just necessarily not all that good. It's very good that the moves it gets are spammable, because if not, this matchup would never be. Uh, first and foremost, work up, it's decent, booster attack and special attack by 50% for one stage. Uh, it can always be great for a possible switch out, you just be feeling that you can boost yourself and hit even harder. Uh, overheat, probably your strongest special attack, uh, to get with the likes of Hyper Beam if I guess, but quite frankly, it is workable to get with specs to be able to hit something really hard and just nuke something. Uh, Noble Roar is here only for the same reason, lower your, it's more like a parting shot. That it lowers your opponent's attack and special attack at one stage, which can be very beneficial if you need to switch out the following turn. Fire Blast and Flamethrower is your main stab on the fire side. Hyper Voice is your main stab on the normal side. Unfortunately, it doesn't get something like uh, Boomers, but quite frankly, I guess that would be kind of overkill considering you're a lion in the first place. Um, Solar Beam is there. Uh, it's a great combination with Grass UMC to be able to capitalize on Solar Beam. Since I said already, your main stab are walled by Rock types, so be able to capitalize on that and make sure to get snag a KO is always very grateful. Uh, you always have Flame Charge, which I think is fair. Um, boost your speed by one. Works the same way as Work Up and Noble Roar, just a different variant of what type of power you want to use. Will of is kind of in the same area where you can go for a possible just to kind of handicap your opponent's Pokemon when it switches out. I, I mentioned the likes of Crunch and uh, Flare Blitz and Wild Charge. Those are physical aspects that I don't believe Paro should ever be using, but if it was a lead concept, the filler moves is there, and really capitalize on that is always nice. Uh, Snarl is also there, which lowers their opposing Pokemon special attack by one as you hit them with dark damage. It's cool. Um, uh, it's definitely where I'm at with that. I think it works in some aspects since Paro is, to some extent, a bit more on the bulkier side, but most people sell it for Dark Pulse, and I get that. It's, it's just one of the better moves. Then you have the Fire Spin, which of course locks your opposing Pokemon in, and you hit them with super effective damage, or you know, at least damage with the, of course, the Fire Stab in mind. Uh, now the last moves here are Bounce, and Ever, Iron Tail, and Snore. What, what I'm trying to say by that is that there really aren't that many moves left to be able to capitalize on Pyro. Pyro is a very, very one-dimensional Pokemon, that is that it usually carries Scarf or Specs, and then you have damage moves. You have the Overheat, we have the Fire Blast, Hyper Voice, Solar Beam, or not Solar Beam, Hidden Power Grass, if you go for Spec Set, to where with possible Dark Pulse. It depends on the variant you want to go for. But the thing is here, even though it is very one-dimensional, things it does, it does really well, so I wouldn't say that it makes the Pokemon bad, it just makes the Pokemon more straightforward what it's capable of be doing, and since the stats are allowing it to do this role really well, it is the reason it has been so successful. The only thing I can kind of complain about the Pyroar, I would say, is that the Moxie really is something that I think is waste upon it. Its abilities are worse than Rapidash, yet it has the abilities to be very rapid as Moxie is definitely the one that stands out here, mainly because its physical move pool with of course Wild Charge in mind and Flare Blitz are really good. We even have Iron Tails, we have ever C capitalization, but it just doesn't necessarily go there. 
and I think it's an unfortunate part since, of course, it's separated evolution lines. We have one male variant and one female variant. I would definitely love to see if the female variant would have been physical since, of course, the female lines always are the hunter up would be a really good aspect to the Pokemon itself and give it some identi identity outside of just well being very reminiscent of Lusandre from of course X and Y series. That said though, a power as said before already is a very good special attacker and probably one of the best actually in the lower tiers. And in the league concept actually gonna just mention one of my friends here, six foot hack or six feet hack uh, or Leo who have been using Pyro really well. I do encourage you guys to check him out with that. It really stands out really well that the speed tier together with a very high spammable special attack makes for a very strong opposing Pokemon. And of course, Pyro represents the best of that. And it's actually fairly decent. Even though it's, like I said, a one-dimensional Pokemon doesn't mean you're bad. It just means you bring a really, really strong aspect to one Spectra of the Tantrum. So with this out of the way, I kind of just need to go down to the basis and the reason why the other Pokemon is better than the other. Now, in the tiers, I'd say that I think Pyroar is better. Uh, it has better stamina, and that really helps. But Pyro would definitely have needed Morning Sun to be more of stamina-wise Pokemon. Rapidash, however, is a very, very straightforward sweeper slash offensive revenge killer. Uh, well, I do believe both fare the same in that aspect. It's very clear which one can do more in a league concept. The league concept is where usually these Pokemon show the true colors, and here is where Rapidash just stands out. Rapidash is a superb Pokemon with a stronger move pool and just be able to do offensive variants better than Paror. As said, Paror is a very good offensive Pokemon on its own right, but it doesn't have the variety that Rapidash brings to the table, and variety is what is most rewarding in a league concept. So, while they're close to each other in tiers and Paror has a strong edge, uh, Rapidash has a lot stronger edge in the lead tier, and due to that very reason alone, becomes the strongest here between the two. But as stated, I definitely think this is subjective. Um, I I feel Pyro is easier to use. Um, it just has that kind of edge over it. It's just a Rapidash. Offensively, it's kind of hard to check. It's it's one of those Pokemon. If you get the moves at right, you just you just get it. It's impossible to switch into. And you, you can't do that in the tiers, but you're definitely able to do more so in the leagues where you can actually predict your future matchup. I I believe that makes Rapidash a very interesting Pokemon. And, and just overall, it becomes great due to it. So with that said, guys, which one of these two do you guys think is the better? I'm definitely open for the both of the aspects, since of course I think both of these Pokemon are great. And yeah, with that said, thank you all for watching. Hopefully, you have no, you don't have to wait two weeks next time because I, I know I've been kind of after here, but I'm doing my very best to kind of get these videos out to get with actually doing Wi-Fi battles, which I haven't been successful doing in seven weeks, which is incredible. Parenthood is taking a toll, and I definitely won't deny that aspect. Hopefully, we'll find something to work real soon. But as I was guys been watching and join us next week for this matchup.